the best thing about really about this whole kind of book experience was getting to meet people I would never have met otherwise. Like uh, my book came out around the same time as a book by uh, the CTV legend Nancy Regan. Nancy Regan, the, the host of Five at Live. For the younger, I'm not talking about the dead wife of Ronald Reagan, obviously. That's um, for younger people. Nancy Regan, which she was a host of Five at Live, which at the time there was probably like three channels, and and it was on every night. And everyone watched Nancy Regan, and she interviewed everyone, didn't she? Like Oprah Winfrey, Madonna, and uh, and she released the book, and we, and we and we kind of bonded. And she said, "Oh, well, James, I haven't been to to St. John in about 15 years." And she heard that uh, that we were organising a, a fundraiser gig at uh, at Punchlines Comedy Club um, for Romero House. And I should point out that Evelyn McNulty and uh, Lily McNulty from Romero House are actually here tonight. So please give it up. 40 years of service to this city. Evelyn, uh, a true hero, a, a genuine bona fide hero of our community. And uh, L- Lily, I love you and thank you very much for being here. Lily actually hasn't been out uh, since COVID. This is her first night out since. So, Lily, I couldn't be happier that you are here tonight. Thank you. And so, uh, Nikki Payne and uh, Mandy Lynn Donovan, an amazing local comedian who many of you may know. Uh, Mandy, uh, Mandy Lynn Donovan, Nikki Payne, and, and Julie at Punchlines, they organised this, this fundraiser for Romero House. And uh, Nancy saw that it was happening and she said, I'd love to come and support. And I said, well, here's the thing, Nancy, you know, it's, it, we're doing two shows, uh, it's a lot of work, and, 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 but it's going to sell out anyway. Uh, you don't need to come uh, all that way. And, and she was like, no, I'll pay for my own gas and I'll, I'll pay for my own hotel. I said, no, well, you, you don't need to come all that way. And part of me was, I must admit, thinking, you know, Nancy hasn't been to St. John in in 15 years and she was saying oh, I want to come and like see what, how great it is you've been telling me how great it is and I was thinking you know Punchlines is a beautiful club inside but it's you know it's underneath a strip club <laughs> you know it's at the end of Waterloo Street I'm thinking is Nancy Regan's first experience of St. John in 15 years should it be Waterloo Street that was kind of going through my mind, right? And I thought, well, you know what? You know, and she was keen to do it. And I thought, you know, I mean, she really wanted to come and she wanted to pay for her own trip. And I was like, you know what? I can just keep her in the club. The club's gorgeous. Keep her in the club. She doesn't have to see what's going on. So she comes down, right? We're in, uh, we're in, we did the first show. It's, it's wonderful. It goes really well, right? And people are being really generous. We're raising lots of money. It's beautiful. Evelyn's there. Evelyn, tons of fun, right? Tons of fun. And then in the, in the intermission, uh, Nancy says, uh, she goes, oh, James, I'd, I'd love to get a coffee. And without thinking, it just comes out. I go, uh, oh, yeah, there's a Tim's up the road. <laughs> as soon as I said it, I froze. <laughs> and she was like, great, let's go. So we leave, and it's in between shows, so it's 9 p.m. at night. <laughs> 9, maybe, maybe 9, then 9.30 on Waterloo Street. For, I mean, there, there's, a few, um, there's a few people new here. Sophia, you are, you are new. Uh, Sophia, you're new here. Uh, I will tell you just a bit about. Um, uh, Sophia has actually recently just moved to St. John uh, from the Ukraine. So please give it up for Sophia. Uh, welcome. So for Sophia has maybe been here, and we genuinely could not be happier that, uh, that St. John is now your home. And, uh, and really, really, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Honestly, thank you. You guys are amazing, and we're so, so happy you're here, and, uh, and, and I have to educate you about Waterloo Street, okay? <laughs> to tell you, everyone else kind of knows, um, but thank you for, 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 thank you for being in St. John. It's a beautiful thing to have you here. It means a lot. Um, give it up one more time to Sevilla. So Waterloo Street, basically, you kind of, if you walk down Waterloo Street, you, you, you kind of have to stop now and again. You have to stop now and again. Like, you, 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 might, you might think, I can, I can mind my own business, right? But you have to stop now and again. Like, I have to go, oh, no, 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 no crack for me today, thank you. Sorry. Uh, all, all good for the crack right now. Thank you, thank you. No, 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 I don't want a blowjob, thank you very much. No, uh, all set for the blowies tonight, thank you. All set for the blowies tonight, thank you, thank you. Oh, nice tooth. All to the same person. <laughs> Not wrong. So, uh, so we're walking up, and I think, okay, I'll get Nancy. So we get up to the we get up to the Tims, and we get up to the Tims, and uh, Nancy goes to pull the door, and she goes, oh, it, it, it's it's locked. And then I remembered, oh, that's right. This Tims, lovely Tims, right? Lovely Tims. I go there lots during the day, but I forget that at night they have to lock the doors because if they don't, there's people in there, like like swapping sex for drugs or like you know, there's all kinds of, like there's, there's all kinds of. 
right? Things go on in there, so they have to lock the door. So, Nan so Nancy's like, why can't, why won't the door open? Why won't the door? And I'm like, oh, it must be, uh, maybe it's drive through only just because maybe there's something stuck in the lock. Because, like, you can't tell, you can't tell CTV legend. <laughs> Nancy Regan, oh, we can't go in there because, oh, here in St. John, if you don't lock the doors of the coffee shops, people are in there going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> can't tell Nancy Regan. We, we, don't, that's not, that is not live at five material. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, it must be, dri be drive-through only. So f four grown adults, four grown professionals, we, we walk, we say, well, never mind, we'll walk up to the drive-through, right? <laughs> Me, CTV legend Nancy Regan, Nikki Payne, and Mandolin Donovan. We walk up to the drive-thru, and Nancy goes, Hello, um, we'd like to order some coffees, please. We'd like to order some coffees, please. Hello? Hello? And they're ignoring, because they, obviously you, uh, they're ignoring. And, 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 and Nancy's like, What's, oh, Hello? Hello? And Nikki Payne utters the immortal line, which I thought was hilarious. She turns to Nancy and goes, Oh, Nancy, I think they think you're a crack whore, Nancy. <laughs> Nancy laughs and we're laughing so I say then come on the, the speaker and they say sorry we can only serve drive through in vehicles and we go okay okay so we step away and four supposedly mature intelligent people all said let's pretend to be in a car <laughs> we're, we're, we're grown ups it, it got so ludicrous me and Nikki were fighting over who was going to drive <laughs> She wins out, right? So we, we go up and we're literally all like this, and Nikki's in the flick of this, you're doing this. I'm sat there like this, right? I mean, just, just absolutely ludicrous. And we come up, hello, hello. <laughs> this, this is literally what. And we go, hello, hello. And then we're, and we thought maybe, is it a weight thing? Like the car weight? So we start like bouncing, like. It's not working, right? It's not, oh. And we're, we're kind of despairing. I'm thinking, oh my God, this is insane. And then Mandolin Donovan, a, a, a very funny local comedian, a fearless, fearless, a, a force of nature, a, a real firebrand, she goes running down to a car parked on Waterloo Street. <laughs> she bangs on the window and she says, there's a man sat there in the car by himself. She says... <laughs> She says, excuse, she says, excuse me, sir, would you mind driving us through the drive through <laughs> We, in our absolute... Mat we, we, he goes, yeah, no problem, we all jump in the car. <laughs> now, obviously things start to... I start to get worried now, right? It dawns on me, like he's parked on Waterloo Street. What if, what if he's like a... What's that? Is it called a John? the word for, yeah, like a, 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 like a, a person who uh, uses the services of uh, sex workers, right? A John, right? What if he sat there and by some bizarre coincidence, he has just phoned and placed his, I'd like a fivesome, please. <laughs> I'd like a British man with ridiculous eyebrows. <laughs> a smartly dressed woman. A comedian with a lisp <laughs> and uh, a crazy young comedian. And um, anyway, so I'm panicking about this, but it wasn't, you know, it all was fine. We're driving through, right? Nancy's in the front with him, right? And she's chatting away with him and we're driving, we place our order. I'm thinking, this is all fine. And Nancy says, uh, so what, what are you doing tonight, mate? And he was like, this. <laughs> she goes, no, but what are you doing later? And he was like, this, I'll probably be here till three, four in the morning, sitting there. Then I realise. It's a fucking drug dealer. <laughs> I have put Maritime's television royalty into the car of a drug dealer. Then I start to panic, ladies and gents. I start to, what if this guy is under surveillance by the St. John police? And they're there watching and they radio through Sergeant, four customers have just got into the car. 
this could be a good time to call in the SWAT team. And I am absolutely freaking out and I'm panicking, thinking, oh my God, this is gonna be terrible. We're, we're sat there, suddenly, this might be the moment they pounce, they jump in. He, he's no doubt got like cash, drugs in the car. We've got Nancy Regan, I just thought this is gonna be terrible. This is her first experience of St. John in 50 years. And she gets, she gets arrested and then, what, then what's gonna be the newspaper headline? Like, fall from grace. <laughs> CTV legend, Nancy Regan. Arrested buying drugs with Nikki Payne, James Mullinger, and Mandy Lynn Donovan. And I'm absolutely mortified. And then I, was, I felt slightly better when I realised, well, at least by the time it comes out in the newspaper in three months, she won't fucking be here. <laughs> um, and I will say this, Nancy is writing a new book now, and uh, that whole situation that just and that is exactly how it happened and everything can back me up on this that it happened I walked straight back in the club for the second show told that story just because it had just happened it was just like you won't believe what just happened Nancy filmed it and I thought that might make a good bit turns out it did anyway um, and uh, but she's just written a new book uh, which she's currently writing, and that whole story is its own chapter, and uh, it is titled, and it's about her first visit back to St. John in 15 years, and it is titled, The Funniest Night of My Life. So that is <laughs> what St. John does right there. That is, that's what we do in St. John. Um, this is lovely, thank you all so much for being here. This is really, really a joy. 